Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea and I make videos about Disney and sometimes some vlogs as well. So yeah, that's pretty much my channel now. Hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell to make sure that you are notified every time that I upload a video. So if you do already know who I am, then you're probably wondering, why is your hair long again? Well, that is because I'm pre-filming and I filmed this before I cut my hair, if you couldn't guess. So <laughs> that is why my hair is long again and oh, I'm gonna miss it so much. But I'm doing it for charity, so. Anyway, let's just get into this video. So today's video is gonna be a bucket list for Disneyland Paris and I'm gonna be telling you 50 things to put on your bucket lists for Disneyland Paris. And let me just tell you before I start reeling this off, I have not done all of these things. I'm just putting that out there. I should. And I'm gonna. But I've made this bucket list since I've come home and this is just kind of stuff that I wish that I'd done slash stuff that I have done or things that I just think people should experience. So I've made a little list. So a lot of these things in this video are going to be if you are a cast member, but obviously you can join in with most of them if you are just going on a holiday. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into the video. So the first thing that you need to do is to get a photo pass. I'm going to tick them off as I do it so if I'm looking at my phone I'm sorry so yeah get a photo pass you get all of your ride photos included in it you get any like if you go into the pavilion or meet Mickey there's a photographer in there so they'll take oh but yeah those aren't happening at the moment so if you're watching this in the future post covid then yeah it'll include all those I presume they're going to carry on with the magic shots and stuff post covid but I'm not 100% sure, but at the moment they've got those and stuff instead of, I guess, the character meet and greets, but get a photo pass. It's not the cheapest thing, but I think it's worth it. So the next thing is to ride every single ride in Disneyland Paris. Obviously, depending on how long you're going for, you might not be able to do this, but ride at least all of the big rides. But yes, ride every ride. Next one is to see every show. Next one, eat at all the restaurants. Next one, stay at all the hotels. The next one is to stay in a park from open till close. The next thing is to do a run Disney marathon, whether this is the 5k, ooh, whether this is the 5k or the, is it 21k is the biggest, longest one. And yeah, if you do the marathon, then you get to meet rare characters as well, which is pretty cool. So the next thing is to do Mickey's not so scary Halloween party or whatever it's called in Disneyland Paris. And then also do Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So the next thing is something that's pretty much just for like cast members, but if you happen to be there at the right time of year, then it's to go and see the Tour de France. So the Tour de France happens actually in Paris. It's like a non-Disney related thing, but it's just something to do in the local area that I thought was really nice to put on the list. I absolutely loved it when I got to go and see the Tour de France. It was a really fun day, even though I didn't think that I would enjoy it. So yeah, if you happen to be there, I think, when is it? Like the end of June? end of July? Sometime in like June or July. Definitely go and watch it because I'm so glad that I did. So the next thing is to pin trade. Obviously pin trading isn't a huge thing in Disneyland Paris but they do have at a lot of like the information places they have like a little pin board that you can trade. A lot of the cast members in the shops and stuff wear a lanyard so you can pin trade with them. A lot of the cast members from the entertainment department I don't think realise that guests should be allowed to take any pin that they are wearing on their person. So I think other than the one that's on your name badge, they can't take that one. But if you are wearing a pin like lanyard or if you have pins on your bag or just anywhere on display, the rule is if you are a cast member, you have to swap it with the guest if they ask for it. So cast members shouldn't wear pins that they don't want to swap, but people in entertainment for some reason forgot that rule and they wear pins that they like on their like little bags so I mean you can ask to swap with them but they'll probably say no because they don't really understand the rule I don't know I mean we did get told it in tradition so I don't know why people don't remember the rule but they don't remember the rule so yeah just be warned that people might say no even though they're not supposed to say no but you can be intrigued with like if people have like a lanyard of like ugly pins and then like a few random little nice ones dotted around then they are pin trading lanyards so you can go up to them and trade pins with them so pin trading is a thing in Paris it's just not as popular as Florida they don't have like the um the mystery boxes unfortunately I wish they did because I love those but 
you can still pin trade in, in Paris, not Florida. You can still pin trade in Paris. The next thing is to go and draw in the animation studio. This is such an underrated thing. I actually love going to draw in the animation studio. It's so much fun to learn how to draw new characters. The next thing is to meet all the characters. Obviously you're not going to get this done if you're just going there on holiday for a few days, but if you are working there or you live nearby, or whatever, you're an annual pass holder, then you will be able to hopefully do this. Go and meet all the characters. I didn't, but I wish I had. And yeah, by all the characters, I mean all of the like regular characters. So like all the princesses who go in the pavilion regularly, all the characters who are outside in the park regularly and like the seasonal characters and stuff like that. Obviously the rare characters, you have to like pay for the events. So you don't necessarily have to do that, but that would be really cool if you could do that as well. So the next thing is to buy a spirit jersey. I worked in Disneyland for Paris for nine months and I didn't buy a spirit jersey and I regret it. I really wish that I'd got on while I was there so if I do work back in Disney Paris then I will definitely be buying a few spirit jerseys so get one otherwise you will probably regret it because I definitely do. The next thing is to go and see the Wild West show. You only really need to go and see this show once. It's an amazing show. It does use horses. Don't fully agree with that but I can't deny that it is an amazing show, it is. They do cater for vegan food if you're vegan or like whatever, they'll cater to your allergies. You get unlimited drinks and it's definitely worth it. You also get a hat. So yeah, you also get a hat, which is pretty fun. I love this hat, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm actually gonna wear it for a few more of the uh, things. So yeah, go see the Wild West show. Oh, and then this one's actually related to the Buffalo Bill Wild West show, and that is to get chosen to do the shooting in it. So there is a part in the show where they pick people from the audience to come down into the little arena, and you get to do the shooting. So I'm going to take this hat off now because I'm not a cowboy, and I'm going to get into the rest of the bucket list. The next one is to get the picture. If you are part of the Disneyland Paris for Brits page, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're not, then maybe you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm talking about getting a picture with the castle on an empty main street. This is hard to do, so you either have to do it first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening. The next one is just to take castle pictures. So whether this is on an empty main street or not, just get some pictures with the castle. If you don't get pictures with the castle, did you even go to Disneyland? I don't know. The next one is to fill an autograph book. The next one is to get every character's signature and I pretty much did this. I have an autograph book that has like pretty much every character. There are like the odd characters that I don't have but like when I say every character I mean like it's got all the rare characters and stuff. It is literally just like the characters that I don't even know who they are that I don't have. The next one is to walk around all the Disney hotels. This is such like an underrated thing. I absolutely love going and exploring hotels. You can go in the gift shops, you can go eat in the restaurants if you want, you can go get drinks in the bars. Sequoia Lodge is definitely one that I recommend. Sequoia Lodge is recommended in like every single one of my videos at the moment but I just I love Sequoia Lodge and especially at this time of year when it is autumn or winter just ah oh, Sequoia Lodge. That's all I need to say. The next thing is to do character dining. I can't necessarily recommend them because I've only done character dining once in the Plaza Gardens. I'd recommend it. Uh, that is a buffet and they only do the character dining at breakfast, but you can do character dining in the auberge with the princesses. Breakfast is cheaper, so if you want to do it a bit cheaper, then go for breakfast. Lunch is like double the price, it's crazy. Um, there is also Cafe Mickey and the DLH, of course, Disneyland Hotel, because they do the Castle Club, which is exclusively for the people who stay in the hotel. And then they also do a brunch, which I think is for anybody, but it is pretty expensive. But yes, character dining. So the next one is to go and visit your friends at work. Obviously, if you don't work there, then you're not really gonna know people, but if you are a cast member, go and visit your friends at work. It makes their day, it makes your day, it's so much fun. If you have friends who are hanging out with characters, then it's so much fun to go and meet the characters that they're hanging out with. If you have friends who are working in restaurants, it's fun to just go and say hi to them and get some food. So the next thing that I've got is to go to all the seasons. So in Disneyland Paris they have like different seasons because the park isn't really big enough to have like all these shows going on at once. Obviously in like I think every Disneyland they have like Halloween season and Christmas season but in Disneyland Paris because it's not big enough to have things like Star Wars and Marvel going on all the time whereas in Walt Disney World they have that space to do that. So there are seasons in Disneyland Paris so at the moment there is like a Frozen season that was 
went from like January to May, Star Wars season went from January to March, Marvel season went from March till May, Jungle season from June till August, and then it's like Halloween and Christmas. There are lots of things to do during the seasons, you can go and meet the characters, you can watch the parades, they put on shows. The next thing is to watch the parade! You can't go to Disneyland and miss the parade. You have to go and see the fireworks as well while you're in Disneyland Paris. The next thing is to ride Big Thunder Mountain at night. It's such a different ride in the evening. Like during the day, I really don't care for Big Thunder Mountain, but when it's dark outside, Big Thunder Mountain is pretty cool. Like you get cool views of the park, you can see the castle lit up, and it's just like a completely different ride. The next thing is to go and see the dragon under the castle. Next thing by Disney is I didn't buy enough pears during my contract. The next thing is to go and meet a rare character. I actually don't think I've met a rare character. I've hung out with a rare character, but I don't think I've actually met a rare character. The next thing is to meet Mickey Mouse. If you go to Disneyland and you don't meet Mickey Mouse, what are you thinking? It was all started by this little mouse. You can't go to Disney and not see him. He's so cute. Just please go and see Mickey Mouse. <laughs> The next thing is to go and see Paris. Get out of the Disney bubble for a little bit and go and actually see the location that you are living in or staying in if you're just there on holiday, but go and see Paris. So the next thing is to go and party in Billy Bob's and La Gap. These are two places that are pretty fun. If you are a Disney guest, go and party in Billy Bob's. If you are a cast member, Billy Bob's or La Gap. I'm not a huge party fan, but you know, you've got to do these things while you're there. I wouldn't say like if you're going there as a guest that you have to go to one of the parties in Billy Bob's, but sometimes they have like cool themed evenings. Like I remember that they had like a Latina night, which was pretty cool, where it was just like they played Spanish music all night. The next thing is if you are there at the right time to go to Disney Pride. You can meet Mickey in his little pride costume. I think that there were probably some other meet and greets, I'm not really sure. And you can go on some of the rides. You can watch shows. They have like some singers come and sing there. And then they also have a pride parade, which was really cute. They have like all the cast members dressed up, just doing like a little dance. They have Mickey in a car, Stitch, and then like loads of other characters come in on, on cars in little pride outfits. And it's just really cute. So yeah, go to Disney Pride. The next thing is to drink mulled wine in Sequoia Lodge. This is the second mention of Sequoia Lodge in this video. Can you tell I like it? I don't know, maybe. But yeah, if you're going in autumn or winter, definitely go and have a mulled... Well, do they do mulled wine in autumn? If you're going in winter at Christmas time, go and have a mulled wine in Sequoia Lodge. It's just uh, the atmosphere you want at Christmas time. It's beautiful. The next thing is to watch the bonfire night fireworks over the lake. If, I don't think they had like an actual bonfire, but they did have fireworks and it was really, really good. But yeah, go and watch them. They're over the lake, so you don't even have to pay for it. So it could be on your like non-Disney ticket today. You can just turn up and watch the fireworks. They're over the lake, so it's free. The next thing is to go and watch the Bastille Day fireworks in Disneyland Paris. So Bastille Day is a French celebration. I don't know the story behind this one, but they do fireworks on the castle just as normal. So you see illuminations or whatever it is when you go. And then afterwards they do a special celebration for Bastille Day. I have no idea what Bastille Day is on the 14th of July, I'm, I think. Um, so if you are there for the 14th of July, go and watch the fireworks because then there are tons of fireworks after the fireworks, if that makes sense. It is incredible. They put so much effort into it. It's really good. Definitely recommend going to watch it. And actually, I'm going to give you a bonus one because I just suddenly remembered that they did frozen fireworks over the lake during frozen season. So if you're there during frozen season, they might be doing some fireworks. They were like pretty random days, so you might miss it if you're not a cast member. But if you're a cast member, go and watch the frozen fireworks. They were really good. So the next thing is to go to the cast member parties. So obviously you can only do this if you're a cast member. The next thing is to celebrate your birthday in Disneyland. I have now celebrated two of my birthdays in Disneyland. I don't know why I did it like that. Two birthdays two birthdays in Disneyland and yeah it was my 21st and my 22nd. There's no place more magical to celebrate your birthday. The next thing is to go to Torsi which is a place it's three stops on the train I believe from Manla Valley and go to laser tag and bowling. It's a 
fun day. If you go with a huge group of people and you know everyone in laser tag, it is so much fun. Definitely try and organize that if you're a cast member there. The next thing is to take lots of photos. Obviously don't spend like your whole time just taking pictures because you want to live in the moment, but also you want to take those pictures so that you remember those memories. The next thing is to go to Village Nature. If you don't know, Village Nature is sort of like an affiliated with Disney Hotel, but it's not like an official Disney Hotel, I'm not really sure. It's owned by Centre Parks. So if you aren't from Europe, you might not know what Centre Parks is. It's basically just like a holiday place in woods. It's, um, they have like activities on, huge swimming pool and stuff like that. And Village Nature is owned by Centre Parks, so it's literally like a center parks in Disney but yeah they have an amazing swimming pool at Village Nature you can just pay to go there for the day I'm not sure how much it is um, if you go like after five I think it's cheaper as well if you just want to go in the pool and yeah definitely it's a great day they have like all sorts of activities that you can do there you do have to pay extra for the activities but you don't have to pay extra for the swing and then they have like tons of restaurants there and stuff and it's just a really lovely place to go to get away from Disney a little bit but still in the area and it's just an amazing place. I love it. The next thing is to have cocktails in Disney Village. The next thing is to eat a Disney treat on Main Street. I, unless you count popcorn, didn't do this because no treats in Paris are vegan other than like the popcorn. So <laughs> I didn't do this, but yeah, if you're not vegan, go eat a Disney tree on Main Street and if they have vegan ones, let me know, please. <laughs> the next thing is to go in the hot air balloon in Disney Village. The next thing is to have an interaction with a character on parade, preferably your favourite character, but if not, any character will do. Just have an interaction with them, whether that's them coming up and hugging you, them just blowing you a kiss, waving at you, pointing at like a plushie if you're holding like a Pascal plushie, Rapunzel might be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, whatever it is, your outfit, whatever it is, have an interaction with a character on parade. The next thing is to ride in a Main Street vehicle. I haven't done this, so I can't necessarily say if it's good, but it's definitely something that you should put on your bucket list because it's worth doing. Don't go for the horse one though, because I don't think that's fair on the horses, especially if it's a hot day. The next thing to do in Disney is to buy a Disney plushie. So the next thing is to do the golf that is nearby Disney. If you're a golfer, personally I'm not, but maybe I should give it a go one time. I don't know. There's a golf course near Disney. Go check it out if you like golf. And then the last thing, number 50, is to Disney Bound. If you don't know what Disney Bounding is, that is dressing up as a character, but not like in a costume. So like you would wear, like if you're going to be Piglet, you would wear like a pink top, pink skirt, pink shoes, everything pink, maybe a pink stripy top, and maybe get some little ears or whatever. I don't know. If you're going to be Rapunzel, wear a purple dress braid your hair, put some flowers in it. It's not like fully dressing up as the character so that people think you are the character. It is just Disney bounding. You just dress up like a character. I did it as Minnie Mouse once, for example. I wore a red dress play suit thing that had spots on it, white spots, and I wore my mini ears and that was my Minnie Mouse Disney bound. Okay, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you think that there's anything that I missed on that you think people should add to their bucket lists for Disneyland Paris. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.